Let's talk f-stop, or sometimes called aperture. Don't forget, as always, if I'm in PowerPoint, it's technical information, but it is important. First off, in a nutshell, what is f-stop? f-stop determines the depth of field, how much area in the photograph that you are shooting is in focus. f-stops are on a ring on the lens, and they usually come in traditional f-stops like this from a 1.4 to 2.84 all the way to a 22. They're a little bit counterintuitive in thinking. For example, the lower the number, the more light comes in. The higher the number, the less. If you're looking at it this way, it's a hole in the lens that lets the light in. It might look something like this. That's the 1.4 on the left, that's the f22 on the right. So the light comes in through the glass, bends down to get through that hole, and then expands out again on the other side. What that causes is an increase in depth and field, which is a really cool thing when you think about it. So if you look at something like this, we have a photograph of a tree, and we have the lens, and then we have the photograph being taken by the camera. The information goes through the lens, goes through the glass, you focus on an area, and then it's deposited on the film. How that f-stop is adjusted will determine how much is in focus. Again, let's look at our tree. Let's say we're focusing right where that vertical line is. I know that's in front of the tree. You know, I don't know, maybe somebody's standing there. I'll tell you what, let's put somebody there. All right, we're taking a photograph of the dude right there. Now, depending on your f-stop, so we focused on him. If you look at it like this, an f2.8, might get a little bit in front of and a little bit behind the guy, the tree would still be out of focus. A 5.6, you're going to get more things in focus in front of and behind the guy, but the tree probably will still be out of focus. If you crank it down, we call that stopping the lens down. If you stop that lens down to an F22, what you're going to get is probably everything from the grass in front of the lens to the mountains behind the tree will all be in focus. But there is a trade-off like anything else. The trade-off number one for f-stop. The f-stop reduces the amount of light delivered to the film if you're cranking it down. But in return, it will increase how much is in focus, the depth of field. It's a balancing act between your film speed, how fast do I need my film speed because I want to do this? I've got to stop my lens down. That means I'm getting less light, so I need more film speed. With the shutter speed and the f-stop, all three of these combine together to do the job of making a perfect photograph. Look at this. Got an f-stop of 22 on this side. Notice everything is in focus. From the grass in front of the camera to the farmhouse in the background, to the clouds in the back of the sky, you know, a mile or two away. Now look when the lens was opened to an f2.8. We're still focused in on the farmhouse, but you will notice all of the foreground is now out of focus because the lens was opened up. But that's a great effect. There's nothing wrong with doing that. How much depth of field do you want? But remember, increasing the depth of field reduces the amount of light, which then could conceivably change your shutter speed, and your film speed. All these things work together. Depth of field is created with f-stop.